Okay, so this is my fancy fabric stash. I've got lame in here. I've got taffetas. I have uh, posh China silk polyester. You know, the best fabrics are either um, these, these uh, like, man-made fibers were great when you're doing your punching on the machine. You can see all this here. And I just collect them. I buy a quarter of a, a yard, you know, and I just collect. You see I have this whole bin here, and then I have more down here. And some of it I bought. Um, it's too heavy to punch, like this fabric here. You could punch this, and it turns into suede. This is in my book, Pillows. I made a pillow in my book of this type of fabric, and it turns into suede. Looks like suede after you get done punching it. Because it doesn't, it, what it does is it changes the surface texture. It doesn't crumble it up, what I call swallow it. And look at eyelash fabrics. Now, eyelash fabrics, they're kind of trendy. They come and go, but you can always find them online. Um, like my local fabric stores, uh, God, about 10, 8, 10 years ago, they were everywhere. I mean, they were everywhere. And look at this beautiful one here. Look at that beautiful one. And, uh, you know, whenever I'm shopping, and I see something that catches my eye. I know one day I'm going to use it, so I always buy some fabric. I always buy some fabrics. I'm going to use it. Look at this beautiful fabric here. This would make a great overlay. This does some nice punching. Beautiful color. Beautiful color. Look at this. This is, this is all polyester. This is all synthetic. This is very lightweight. Keep that in mind. Lightweight synthetics. Now, in my book, Pillows, I take you step by step on how to do different techniques of what of my my method called punching with the felting machine okay now if you're going to ask me questions i'm going to, my answer to you is going to be this experiment try it you're never going to know until you learn on your own people always ask me cuz there are a ton of quilters out there that all they ever you buy is quilting cotton fabric and they say to me can i do this with quilter cotton fabric Try it. I tried it once. I didn't like the results. I didn't like the results. It was too flat looking for me. It just didn't have that sparkle. You know, I'm all about the bling. I'm all about the bling. I'm all about the texture. Look at this. This is that uh, f I fused. Uh, Angelina is a fiber that looks like uh, straw, Easter straw. And when you fuse it together, it becomes like a fabric. It's fabulous. So, and all that, I show all that in my book. And in, my, in the back of all my books is a reference, a uh, reference chart for all the companies that, uh, products that I use in my book. So anyway, so th like I said, um, it's up to you, you know, experiment, experiment. You don't need anyone's permission to experiment. Okay. And that's something I'm going to tell you. Don't ask me if you can do this. Don't ask me if you can do that experiment ask yourself test how do you think I discovered everything I didn't ask somebody if I can do this I didn't ask somebody if I can do that I experimented and I came up with my own concept my own design everything that I come up with in my my artistic uh, creations was something I discovered because I experimented imagine what you can discover if you experiment think outside the box don't be timid don't be afraid Okay, so this is the felting machine that I use, and um, that's a little pouch I made that I stick on Velcro. It's got all my tools, tools and everything on it. But this machine is a baby lock. Baby lock calls this machine the embellisher, and this is the one that has the 12 needles. And as I preach to everybody, what is this? Extension table. This is so you can lay your fabric flat as you're sewing, or what I call punching or felting. You know, I, I am encouraging everyone, always use an extension table with your sewing machines. You'll have better professional results and better ergonomics. If there are teachers out there that are not using extension tables or not having their machines recess into a flat bed and they want to charge you for them to teach you bad habits, think about whether you want to drop that dollar or not, okay? Because it's all about, if you're going to pay for education, Pay for professional education. Don't pay for non-professional education. 
So anyway, this is the embellisher. All it does, it's got far, uh, 12 barbed wire needles. You can see my barbed wire needles are coated with fabric because I've been punching. That's all it does is punch. There's no feed dogs, nothing. These needles just go up and down. See, they just go up and down. And they're very sharp. They've got barbed wire, wire they're barbed. And this is a protective cover. So you don't mess your finger up. <laughs> and I know because one day when I was using the seven needle embellisher, I was taking this apart and somehow I don't know what I was doing, but I went I, I went to pull something and my finger jammed and I got a barbed wire needle needle through my finger, right through my nail bed. And I couldn't pull it out, it hurt so bad. I actually had to go to the emergency room and the barbed wire needle was touching a nerve on my finger. So to try to pull it out with pliers, oh God, it was difficult. So they had to numb my needle, and right after they numbed it, I couldn't feel it. He did a yank and it was out. So just be careful, be careful. Um, go to your dealer and have them teach you how to change the needles. Now you remember the needles, they can break. They can break. My technique, you're gonna move the fabric smoothly and you have the power going fast on the needles so they go up and down fast. Don't do it slow. This is a whole different concept than using wool roving. Okay? I'm using textured fabrics, which is a whole different concept. And that's how my book pillows was created. And that's how my artwork was created for my pillows. So you create what you want to create. I'm only having you watch me create. Do whatever you want. Like I said, let's repeat. Don't ask me if you can do this. Don't ask me if you can do that experiment on your own try it I'm only showing I'm letting you watch me in my studio what I do to inspire you and you take it from there and if you want more information about uh, punching check out my book pillows okay all right let's move on
Mmm. -hmm.